In this video, we're going to start working with a command line interface. The command line interface is a component of Sextante that we can use to run algorithms and to perform spatial data analysis, typing commands, entering commands into a command line. And that will give us a lot of flexibility and productivity if we learn a little bit about how to use it. We are going to start with some basic ideas, basic concepts about the data we handle in the command line interface. This is the button that I have to click to start the command line interface. And here it is. It's based on Bean Shell, which is a, an interpreted Java language. And there are some extra commands that we will see in this video and in other videos. Some extra commands that allow us to perform sextante tasks, those analysis that are implemented in Sextant. The first thing that we have to, to know is how to handle the data that we're going to use. When we call the algorithms from the command line, we will have to supply the needed data, needed information for the algorithms to run, and that will include vector layers, raster layers, tables, etc. And we're going to see now how to deal with that. A very important comment, it's the data comment. Whenever we want to know which data are available for working with Sextante from the command line, we just execute this common data. And we will see a description of all the data that we have available. In this case, we have just one vector layer, but we can have raster layers, vector layers, and we will see here all the data we have, even if they are on different views within RGS just as it happens when we are working with the toolbox and we have to select a vector layer, we see a list of all the vector layers that we have. Here is more or less the same. And in this case, as I said, we just have one vector layer named basins. One very important thing when we are working with the common line is that whenever we are going to refer to any of these data objects, in this case, for instance, a vector layer, whenever we are going to do that, we are going to refer to layers by their name. If you execute an algorithm from the toolbox and you have two layers with the same name, that's not a problem because you have a list and you can select any of them and they are different. Although they have the same name, they are different and Sextante can uh, handle both of them. But in this case, if the, if the name is the same, if I enter the name basins in an algorithm, when I execute the algorithm and there are two layers with the name basins, Sextante is going to use just the first one. So it's a good idea when you start working with the command line to make sure that you don't have repeated names, repeated names in layers or even in the views, because as we will see, we're going also to use the names of the views when we want to open some new data. If we want to open uh, some new data, we have to use the open command. The open command has three parameters. The first one is the file path to the file that we want to open. It might be a raster layer or a vector layer. Then the second parameter is the name that we want, the name that we want to see in the view when we open the layer. And the third parameter is the name of the view we want to add the layer to. For instance, I'm going to open a raster layer that I have in this file path. And you can notice that whenever you want to use a back, uh, backslash in Windows, you have to escape it. That means that you don't have to add just one backslash, but two of them. That's important, otherwise it will not work. So I'm telling Sextante to open that layer and call it DM and put it in a view name view, which is the one that I have there in the background, as you can see. Press enter. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. It's in D. So that's it. You see it there. That's the data elevation model that I have open. And now if I run the data common, you see that I have one raster layer here named DM. For any of these elements that I have, for any of these data objects, I can describe them. I can know a little bit more about them. And to do so, I use the describe command. Basically, enter 
describe command with one parameter, which is the name of the element I want to describe. In case of the raster layer, I see coordinates, cell size, number of rows and columns. And in case of a vector layer, if I describe the basins vector layer, I will see you have the type of geometries that it contains, the number of entities, and the fields that I can find in the attributes table. This is important because uh, when we see how to execute the, the algorithm and an algorithm that requires you to enter the table field, the name of the field, you have to enter exactly this, this name. So this is very useful to know the name of the field and then I can just type it without mistakes. So the algorithm works properly. I can also rename layers from here. So in case I want to change the name of a layer, I can rename it. For example, if I want to change basins, I will type something like this. I use the rename command, then type the name of the element that I want to rename, and then the new name. For instance, my basins. And you see how it has changed there in the background. And if I want to close an element, if I have some data in the view, some vector layer, rest layer in the view, and I want to close it, I can use the close command and then pass the name of the element. I want to close. And you see that now I don't have a detailed elevation model in my view. And if I run the data common, I will just have the vector layer as I had in the beginning, but with a different name because I had rename it. 